In fact, in this industry, there is no any rules. You can make the cool music video with your cell phone without light and money. In this video, I want to tell you how to make your video production process more predictable and visually beautiful. In this task, which stage will help me? The first is scouting, then choosing of equipment, grip and lenses, planning, set design, work with light, and color grading. On my example, let's study each stage and look at how all is connected with the final result. Of course, before shooting or any project, I should scout the location where the set of project will be. What I need to look at. The first is the sun. With sun survival up, I look at how and there the sun can be at certain moment. Then I have a timing of production day. I can foresee there the sun is. Why it's useful? For example, if I want to shoot without the sun, I will need any blackout for the window. Or on the contrary, if I need the sun, I know that it can appear there I need it. Choosing the location and approximate camera angles. The good location is the half of a good shot. If I don't like the place on the scouting, I just offer to find another location. Don't try to make a good scene in a bad place. If the location doesn't have what you need, just search for the other. Sometimes the location doesn't look so bad, but it doesn't have decoration or any props. I always take a picture of several places in the location, and then I think what I can add and brand from props for this scene. In this step, I just try to fill poor space with decorations in pre-production. Also with cartridge up, I take several shots to understand approximate camera angles and there the camera will be. It was the first scene. We had about two hours for preparation with the light setting, then the artist and statement department they are preparing. For this project, I took ARRI 2500 watts. For this location, I was appropriate, because if the light source was a little weaker, I will not have so contrasted shot. I put the main light sources behind the artist, and I did it the backlight setup. This source imitates the sunlight. If I put it from the camera side or the left in the frame, I will just get the flat image. Then the light will fill the walls and the light will bounce with the all space. Also, you can pay attention to the silhouette. They put the negative fill behind the camera. We use it to block the bounce light, because all the walls are quite bright and can reflect the light on the characters. The black textile can give more dark shadows and the contrast silhouette. And what about beams of light? This space is really huge, and if I used a simple smoke machine, I will not get volumetric light. I use the haze generator. This tool was needed about 10 minutes of continuous work for filling all space with haze. If I work a middle budget project, I can rent good equipment. Sign lenses, cinema camera, dolly or donna dolly slider. Your final image style is the result of equipment choice. As with a music video, I need that to have a special style. For this, I'm just listening to music, which I make the video for, and thinking about two points. The first, what type of camera movement will be suitable for this music and story. Handheld camera, smooth and slight, or static, fast or slow. This is very important for holistic video editing. I choose the slide and slow camera. The second point I think about on the pre-production is what lens type I want to use. Of course, the anamorphic lenses look very cinematic and beautiful, but this kind of lenses are not suitable for all stories. My advice is to use more different lenses and think about the storyline and concept of music. As a story, I'm shooting looks like a movie concept. I choose the most cinematic and contrast lens. This is Hoke Willight Anamorphic Lens. In this scene, I used HB Laser on 4 watts Lucky Key Light. A separate specialist was responsible for this laser. I just said that 
I want to triangle our blue light and he just did it, alone. I will not to go into this rather heavy equipment. So also in this dark scene there is a little fill light in the dark side. This is the light from the Galax 300 wheel with red gel filter, which work with 1% of power. I'm making a plan not to forget how and what style I will have to shoot on the set. What will happen in the scene? What action characters will do or the camera will be? What is the shot type I need? How will camera move or stay? What type of lighting will be there? I'm just filling the table list with my future actions. The next, I'm waiting for approval from the director. And if everything is ok, I will use wait list in the shooting day. Top light in this scene was created with Godox 300 wheel and haze machine. We had about 30 minutes before the set shift will be stopped. And the director said that he wanted to back in the stairs location and shoot some more scenes. We just took the Godox with C stand and his machine and put the light setups for 15 minutes. We just took the Godox with C stands and his machine and put the light setup for 15 minutes. I used handheld camera with Isric. In production process, I have to control that the props which I need are in the scene. I make it set design process with the art department. I try to make interesting and good composition in the scene. I remove all colors or objects that do not match the style of this video. And I can add something for composition balance. This is art process and all props and filling objects I prepared before the shooting day. These TV boxes was the direction's idea, but the scene was still empty. On the pre-production I just offered to fill the space with plants and books papers. Just because the this scene looks more mysterious and filled. The key light of this scene works from the fake window area. RE2500 watts is quite bright for this scene. And we made the bounce light from the sealer. Also, I cut half of the light flow with black flag. Why? Because RE1200 HMI burn it out with day and we had two daylight sources. The second light source was Godox 300 wheel. This is quite bright and has well white balance. With Godox light I made the reflex of light from the floor. So we made many good shots and in this stage I want to make the material even more beautiful. The first rule of color grading is do not spoil the material. I'm not a professional colorist and therefore I shared this project with a professional artist. I gave the material to Tyvan Haran. He works with celebrities in the music videos and has very good style and experience in color grade on the music videos and not only. Tyvan worked in the DaVinci Resolve and he used one interesting tool. This tool is the Hanser OFX. This plugin works like a film imitation. In the addition to typical grain of film, this plugin adds stunning highlights effects that are instantly hard to create in the post-production process. Also, I really love that it can add so pure and tidy glow light effect. Also, we added a grain. The Hanser has many varieties of grain and we can manipulate quantity and size. Diamond made a very good work. And for simple cinematic grade, he created cool color grade lots. Links to Taiwan lots and the Hansa plugin are in the description of this video. The best advice is to have maximum preparation for any set. It is better to shoot a little plant and beautiful material than to shoot a lot of bad material without preparation. Also, check my website, I am prepared my online courses for deep work with light and set design. I have put a lot of knowledge and experience into this course. It will definitely change your work with the light and set design. I am incredibly proud of the works of my students and I am sure that you will do the same shots. Thank you. Bye.